Hello, everyone. Welcome to the session, Modernize Your Database and Application with Database Freedom Program for ISVs. My name is Rahul Nagpal, and I'm a Partner Development Manager at AWS. Our team works with ISVs and technology partners to help them modernize their applications, leveraging AWS managed database services. Today, I'm here to talk about how AWS helps independent software vendors modernize their database and applications to really help reduce their costs as well as build modern and cloud native applications that will help grow your business on AWS. Here's the quick look at the agenda for today's discussion. We will start off by discussing the ISV application modernization trends. We will then dive deeper into common ISV database and application modernization use cases. Then we will talk about the Database Freedom Program for ISVs and cover the benefits it offers to help ISVs modernize their applications and databases. And finally, we will wrap up with some ISV success stories as well as next steps. So let's start off by discussing some ISV application modernization trends. So one of the trends that we have observed is that ISVs are moving from a traditional on-prem delivery model to a software as a service delivery model. Uh, in fact, a recent research from IDC states that about 47% of ISVs are delivering their software as SaaS, and this number is actually going to increase to 83% in two years. So what does this mean for you? This means that ISVs are moving quickly from traditional customer managed model to a more agile software as a service delivery model to really help reduce cost for themselves as well as their customers. This also means that they are modernizing their applications to a more cloud native and agile as well as a microservices based architecture. Another related trend that we have observed is a strong evidence of customer demand for cloud-based database solutions. In a recent research that Gartner conducted, they reported that 75% of all databases will be migrated to the cloud by 2022. And then at AWS, we're also seeing this trend as we are hearing from decision makers such as CTOs and product management leaders that they're anxious to migrate from commercial databases and adopt more cloud-native database solutions. So now that as we are looking at tying these two trends together that we talked about in the previous slides, let's take a closer look at why ISVs are modernizing their applications on the cloud. Based on our discussions with several ISVs, we see four main reasons why ISVs are modernizing their applications. The first reason is really that the ISVs want to address their customers' needs. We see hundreds of thousands of customers who are moving their workloads to AWS and they're asking their ISV vendors to support cloud native architecture, including migrating away from commercial database to open source engines. The second reason is to increase their rate of innovation. The ISVs can innovate much faster on the cloud and they can also help deliver features to their customer at a much faster rate than they were able to do with their traditional on-prem deployment model. The third reason the ISVs want to modernize their applications is that they can reduce their TCO with an on-demand infrastructure and pay-as-you-go pricing. Uh, they can scale up and scale down their instances real time. And then they can also pass on these savings to their customers. The other thing that they can do is they can also build resiliency and durability without paying expensive license fee for things like disaster recovery and high availability features. And finally, ISVs want to grow their business on the cloud. For example, in cloud, ISVs can deploy their instances globally in minutes and capture new customer segments in regions they really wouldn't have access to with their traditional on-prem solution. So as the ISVs are thinking about modernizing their applications, they also need to think about the way they're architecting their databases. You wanna move away from commercial databases that are expensive and proprietary and really have a high degree of lock-in with punitive licensing terms. You also want to free up your developer and DBA's time and have them spend more time on building and optimizing their applications and databases rather than focusing on undifferentiated activities like infrastructure provisioning and backups and patching. Uh, and then finally, you want to move away from the monolithic architecture and really build modern applications 
And for that, you need your database to support the cloud native architecture. So in this section, let's cover the common ISV database and modernization use cases. So here are the more, three most common use cases that we have observed as ISVs are modernizing their databases. The first one is what we call as move to managed. We all know that self-managing databases is complex and time consuming. Uh, the DBAs have to engage in a lot of non-differentiating activities like taking care of the hardware and software installation, patching, backups, and all that. Uh, by moving to managed database services that AWS offers, Developers and DBAs can really focus on business differentiating activities like query design and optimization. And by doing that, it really helps save costs and gain operational efficiencies for the ISV. The second use case that we see is breaking free from legacy databases. Here we also see ISVs who want to modernize their application and move away from high cost and punitive licensing associated with commercial database engines and refactor their application to AWS cloud-native databases like Aurora and DynamoDB. And then finally, we also see ISVs who want to move away from their monolithic application architecture and support microservices or serverless-based architectures. This really helps them drive agility and cost efficiency for their customers. Uh, we also see a lot of ISVs who are building net new applications on cloud, and they also adopt this modern application framework. So now let's talk about how we would address these use cases in AWS. Um, if you look at in the past decade or so, database technologies have evolved significantly. When you look at traditional ISV applications like ERP and CRM or IT service management, they mostly use relational databases because these applications mainly required recording transactions and storing data in structured tables. But as these ISVs are modernizing their applications, they are looking at unique requirements in terms of both scalability as well as performance. So really, if you look at it, a one-size-fits-all approach of using a relational database as the only data store for an application no longer works. So as a result, there's an increasing number of developers who have started adopting both relational and non-relational databases that are purpose-built to meet their application-specific needs. So for example, when they are looking at storing key value pairs, they would leverage DynamoDB. Or when they're looking at storing JSON documents, they can leverage Amazon DocumentDB. Um, AWS offers a range of purpose-built databases that are optimized for a variety of use cases. These databases help you focus on building applications to really help meet the needs of your business. And we see thousands and thousands of customers adopting our purpose-built databases. So in, in a lot of discussions with ISVs, they tell us that they want to migrate from commercial database engines to open source, as at the same time, remove license restrictions and lower their cost. But they also want a performance and high availability of commercial database engines. And that's why we built Amazon Aurora, which is MySQL and PostgreSQL compatible relational database that is built for the cloud. Aurora really combines the performance and availability of a high-end commercial database with the simplicity and cost effectiveness of open source databases. In terms of performance and scalability, Aurora offers up to five times the throughput of standard MySQL and up to three times the throughput of standard PostgreSQL databases. Uh, if you look at this performance, it's on par with commercial databases, but really comes at one-tenth of the cost of commercial database engines. Aurora also allows you to scale your read capacity and performance by adding up to 15 low latency read replicas across three availability zones. So in terms of availability and durability, Aurora features a distributed fault tolerant and self-healing storage system that can auto scale up to 120 terabytes per database instance. It also stores six copies of your data across three availability zones. And what it does is it continuously does backup to Amazon S3. In terms of security, Aurora provides multiple levels of security for your database. This includes network isolation using Amazon VPC, as well as encryption at rest and transit, leveraging AWS key management service, as well as SSL. 
And then finally, Aurora is fully managed by Amazon Relational Database Service and really helps automate your time-consuming administrative tasks like hardware provisioning, you know, software patching, database setup or configurations or backups. Um, since we launched Aurora, we have seen a broad adoption of Aurora across customers as well as ISVs with tens of thousands of customers. And it continues to be the fastest growing service in the history of AWS. Now let's dive deeper into our next section, which is the database freedom program for ISVs. Um, it really helps accelerate the ISV's journey throughout the different phases of their modernization. So as I mentioned earlier, at AWS, we've worked with hundreds of ISVs to help them modernize their solution on AWS database services. And by taking these ISVs through their journey, we have built best practices and guidance on how to accelerate these migrations. Uh, and then that's why we created the Database Freedom Program for ISVs, which really provides support and benefits at every stage of ISVs modernization journey, right from assessment and providing technical training to building and executing proof of concept, and then finally building go-to-market programs to really help grow your business on AWS. In the next set of slides, we will be covering the phases and benefits of this program in detail with you. So the first phase is what we call as the Jumpstart Assessment Workshop. It is typically a two-day technical and business assessment we offer at no cost to the ISV. At the end of this phase, the ISV can walk away with a detailed feasibility analysis of their application modernization, which allows them to develop a modernization roadmap. In this, we help deliver an assessment for your database and application environment um, to really help determine the best modernization path for your application. Here, we also help determine the level of effort that it will take to refactor your database and help define a business case and a TCO model for your target architecture. Finally, we will dive deeper into your application and database architecture with our technical teams, which is typically done through a half day or a full day workshop, and it will really help design and scope a proof of concept for your modernization effort. The second phase that we have as part of this program is called the Accelerated Training Workshop. One of the gaps that we have observed is really a lack of understanding of fully managed database services within the ISV's database and engineering teams. We really help address this gap by providing deep dive training workshops or immersion days and hands-on lab on AWS database services like RDS and Aurora, as well as our non-relational services. Um, in this training workshop, we also cover the database migration tools like the schema conversion tool, that automates conversion of your schema, as well as your database code objects from your source to your target database engines, as well as the database migration service, which really helps migrate your data from your source to your target engines um, with virtually no downtime impact to the customers. The next phase that we have is the rapid proof of concept phase. This is typically structured as a five-day engagement where we bring in solution architects and migration experts from both ProServe or consulting partners to really help build a functional prototype for your application. Uh, the team will provide hands-on migration support and leverage our migration tooling as well as automation to accelerate the replatforming of your application. Uh, and again, for qualified workloads, we offer this at no cost to our ISV partners. In our engagements, we have seen this model greatly accelerate migration timelines as the ISV walks away with a func functioning prototype and provides the technical team with guidance as well as next steps for production deployment. The data Database Freedom Program also offers migration assistance and funding to accelerate your migration timelines and help offset your migration cost. During the migration process, you will have access to our database solution architects as well as migration experts that will provide guidance with both replatforming your application as well as create scalable migration playbooks to help migrate your customers to AWS. In addition, we also offer funding programs to help offset the cost for your migration. We can offer funding in either AWS credits or partner cash if you work with one of our consulting partners. And then finally, AWS offers various programs to help ISVs grow their business on AWS. 
Um, these programs can include market development funds to really help drive demand generation for your solution. Uh, and we can also build and promote assets like case studies and blogs through various APN channels uh, and jointly worked on events and webinars to promote your solution to your target customers. AWS also offers support to develop custom go-to-market offering like building marketplace or a quick start um, and also includes opportunities to co-sell your solution with AWS. So as we covered the go-to-market programs in previous slide, here we wanted to introduce a new program that AWS is launching in first quarter of 2021. Um, this program is called the RDS Ready Program for Business Applications. This is part of our AWS Service Ready Program, which focuses on providing our customers with trusted product recommendations and accelerates the adoption of ISV solutions that are integrated with specific AWS services. We launched the RDS program in May 2020 for tooling partners, like you think about systems monitoring tool or data migration tools, um, whose product essentially integrates with Amazon RDS and Aurora. Uh, we are now planning to extend this program to include business applications that are currently supporting Amazon RDS and Aurora as the backend database engine. So, so this will make it easier for customers to discover and launch the ISV solution. And at the same time, it will make it easier for ISVs to validate and promote their solution through the RDS Ready program. Um, and then we will be sharing more information about this program launch and how you can enroll in this program in the coming weeks leading up to the program launch. So as part of our program, we also work with APN consulting partners who have dedicated ISV and database modernization practice. And these partners have also built their expertise and tooling to accelerate database modernization and migrations for ISVs. Here is a representative list of partners that we work with. We've also developed packaged migration offers with these partners to really help accelerate the modernization timelines and also build migration playbooks with them to accelerate the customer onboarding to the new platform. So in the final section, let's dive deeper into some of our ISV success stories. So as we covered earlier, we've worked with several market leading ISVs who are modernizing their application on AWS database services. Here is a subset of ISVs who support their software on AWS managed services. And this list is growing at a really rapid pace. As you can see, we can have ISVs across every industry like financial services to telecom and security and healthcare life sciences who are modernizing their applications on AWS managed database services. So let's talk about our first customer journey, which is with Amdocs. Um, Amdocs is a leading software and services ISV that provides end-to-end -end solution for telecom and media companies and really helps accelerate their digital transformation. Um, Revenue One is Amdocs' flagship billing and charging solution and is deployed across a wide customer base. Um, so in terms of the challenge that Amdocs was facing, Amdocs wanted to re-architect their Revenue One solution to be cloud-native. Um, as Amdocs customers were embracing the evolution of 5G, Amdocs wanted their Revenue One application to support the advanced 5G billing as well as monetization use cases. Revenue One was originally built on a commercial database engine that was expensive and, and really did not provide the flexibility and the scalability needed to support the advanced 5G monetization requirements for Amdocs. Um, so in terms of the solution, in Q4 last year, Amdocs migrated Revenue One to Amazon Aurora PostgreSQL to deliver a cloud native solution for their customers. They also chose Aurora to leverage pay as you go pricing model, allowing them to gain cost efficiencies in their test and QA as well as development environments. Um, in terms of the results and benefits, Amdocs was able to accelerate launch of their new features to their customers. They were also able to reduce their licensing cost as they were able to transition to a pay-as-you-go model. Um, and then finally, they were able to significantly reduce their operational cost by moving from a self-managed to a fully managed database service. Uh, here's a quote from one of Amdocs executives that talks about the value that Aurora brought to Amdocs Revenue One solution. Now, 
The second success story I wanted to cover is with Guidewire software. Guidewire delivers an industry platform for property and casualty insurance carriers globally. Um, they have over 380 customers in 34 countries. So in terms of the challenge that Guidewire was facing, um, Guidewire wanted to provide their customers with a responsive and agile platform that helped them innovate as well as free their customers from spending their time maintaining their existing infrastructure. And that's why they built Guidewire Cloud, which is a software as a service platform. As Guidewire was developing the platform, they also saw the opportunities to shift their investments from expensive commercial database to fully managed open source database solution. In terms of the solution, Guidewire chose Amazon Aurora to support Guidewire Cloud, um, which is a fully compliant software as a service solution to their customers. With Aurora, Guidewire was able to exceed their stringent performance and security requirements, which is really important to their customers being in a highly regulated industry um, like insurance. Uh, also, moving to a managed database service helped them free up their developers to focus more on high value activities like enhancing their products and delivering features much faster to their customers. And then finally, in terms of results and benefits, Guidewire was able to roll out their features, as I mentioned, at a much faster rate to their customers. Um, they were also able to reduce their infrastructure costs significantly by moving to a managed service. Uh, and at the same time, they were able to exceed the six strict performance requirements for their mission critical workloads. So now that we have covered the database freedom program for ISVs and taken you through some of our customer journeys, here are some resources that will help you get started. So first, we encourage you to learn about the Database Freedom Program for ISVs by clicking on the hyperlink here. Secondly, we would ask you to reach out to our team for a complimentary two-day migration assessment workshop. Uh, this workshop could either be delivered by AWS or in collaboration with an AWS consulting partner who has specialized skill set in migrating workloads to AWS managed database services. You can find more details in the link here. And then finally, we are leaving you with additional self-service resources that you can go through at your own pace to learn more about your program, um, the ISV success stories that we have, and, and really help you get started on the migration journey. And that's all I had. Thanks a lot for your time. And please let me know how I did by filling out this session survey and enjoy the rest of your reInvent.